Hi folks, uh, I'm Kevin Solway, who makes the occasional contribution to the Men of the Infinite channel. Uh, I don't have any videos up on my own personal channel at the moment, but if you're interested to have a look at my favourites or my subscriptions, uh, you can find a link to my personal channel over there in the information pane. Um, in this video, there are two things I want to do. First of all, I want to take a look at determinism and indeterminism, what they mean, uh, if anything. Uh, perhaps, uh, hopefully, untangling some of the confusion that surrounds them. Uh, then I want to move on to taking a look at so-called quantum indeterminism and whether there's anything truly uh, or really extraordinary uh, about what's happening in the quantum realm that would distinguish that kind of indeterminism from ordinary everyday indeterminism. The biggest problem we have in coming to an understanding of d determinism and what should be its opposite, indeterminism, is that the word determinism has a number of different meanings which are unrelated to each other. This leads to no end of confusion. The first meaning of the word determinism is when it's used to express the idea that all things have causes or are determined by causes. In this case, it's not necessary to know what the causes are. It's not necessary to know what is determined. This meaning of determinism is the one that's used when we're speaking philosophically, such as in the classic argument against free will, which states that all our thoughts and choices are entirely a result of causes and therefore are not free. The second meaning of determinism, and an entirely different one, is when it's used to express the idea that we can determine or predict what's going to happen in the future based on our knowledge of the causes, which of course need to be known to us. This second meaning is, naturally enough, most common in the scientific world because science would like to be able to predict the future as much as is possible. Likewise, matching the two different determinisms, there are two different indeterminisms. The philosophical one, meaning things are not determined by causes. And the scientific one, meaning we cannot determine or know the causes or the consequences. Philosophical determinism doesn't tell us anything about whether an event is predictable. It only claims that things are caused. And scientific indeterminism doesn't tell us anything about whether a thing is caused but only claims that causes cannot be determined or known. These philosophical and scientific concepts come from entirely different spheres of interest, and they don't overlap or intersect at any point. Unfortunately, human beings are extremely vague thinkers and don't like to clearly define their terms, so a lot of the argument and confusion regarding determinism and indeterminism arises because of a failure to clearly distinguish between the philosophical and scientific concepts. Making the problem even worse is that science itself has become a religion in many respects, replacing the old traditional religions, and scientific indeterminism has become the god of this religion, a vaguely defined god, just like the Christian one, which is specifically designed to resist investigation and attack. The follower of this religion wants his indeterminism, his God, to be both philosophic and scientific, in just the same way as the Christian wants their God to be all things. They want free will and they want mystery, they want power and they want to be slaves. All logic goes out the window. So now that we've solved the problem of determinism and indeterminism, I want to dispel another myth, specifically about scientific indeterminism. It's argued by the followers of this new religion of science, along with sundry followers of the New Age, that indeterminism in the quantum realm is of a fundamentally different type to that in the larger everyday world, and they give it the title quantum indeterminacy. But how, I ask, 
is quantum indeterminacy any different to normal everyday indeterminacy? When I throw a dice, it is inherently impossible for me to predict what number I will throw. The unpredictability is a result of two things. Firstly, I don't know what causes are operating on the dice when it is thrown. For all I know, someone could be manipulating the dice from thousands of miles away with some kind of tractor beam. And the second reason is that even if I could know what the causes were, which I can't, I'd never be able to measure them exactly because I can't measure anything to an infinite number of degrees, that uh, in infinite number of decimal places accuracy. And any measurements I do make will have a margin of error associated with them anyway. So the reasons for indeterminacy in the everyday world are exactly the same as the reason for indeterminacy in the quantum realm. Exactly the same. It is simply a limitation of what we are able to know. As I see it, the followers of this new religion of science are trying to make uh, quantum physics into a kind of church which houses their god. Um, and they want it to have its own rules and be something really special, a land of magic and miracles. And they're attempting a um, mystification of science. But that's really just turning science over to religion.